Three, two, one, action. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I better not shout because the microphone gets a lot out when I do that. <laughs> and welcome to this very special event called Unveiling of a Legend. We'll explain that. We'll explain why in just a moment. So I'm going to just get started with some music first. Let me switch camera views here. And hopefully that camera angle is good enough for you. Um, but I'm going to start off uh, with an instrument, a, a song that I think is very fitting because as I was rehearsing um, this morning and the other day, and the more I play this instrument, I keep telling the I keep telling this instrument, "You're the one that I want. You are the one that I want." And hopefully by today, you'll feel the same way as I do, and you'll see why. And so it's only fitting that I open up with a uh, song called "You're the One That I Want." And here we go. Legend Supreme, everyone. And let's give ourselves a big round of applause. Yay! Woo. Yes, folks, this is the Lowry Legend Supreme. And why are why do I call this event the availing of a legend? Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna take you back in time to the year 2015, not that long ago. And that year was a, a very significant year for Fletcher Music Centers because that was the year a a uh, high-end product was introduced. The trouble was it wasn't introduced as soon as we needed it. And so what happened was as we were patiently waiting for a high-end model to really um, fund our company, uh, we were in need of something uh, that would kind of supply us with that high-end revenue uh, to keep our business moving. And what Lowry decided to do is they basically created the Legend Supreme. Now, they didn't create a whole production of models and organs or what have you what they did was they took some of the best of the best of the best of the best and 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 put it in here and it, it may explain what that means so <clears throat> there is an organ called the lowry legend okay and above the legend there are other models subsequently so for example after the legend there's an instrument called the lowry prestige and it looks something like this and um, when this instrument was introduced, it was actually in the 76,000 range, once upon a time. That's our current retail. And then after the Prestige comes the Lowry Imperial. Woo, that jumps up. Oh, 
That, that took the breath out of me. Boy, if they get any higher, I might just explode. Let's see. And after the Imperio comes the Lowry Sterling. Boy, as you can see, we're creeping up in price here. And after the Lowry Sterling comes the Lowry Patriot. So as you can see, in looking at this chart here, um, there's a chart that Sean's going to display. So essentially, we have Lowry Legend. That's there it is legend prestige imperial sterling and patriot and what happened was we had <coughs> several legends in stock not many of them um actually i think in arizona there were six at the time um and they took everything from the patriot the best of the best should i say and it looks like he is drawing an arrow and they put it into the legend using software hardware and we then and and indeed, what we had was called the Legend Supreme. So everything you're going to hear today are the best sounds, features, and styles from our top-of-the-line Lowry Patriot. Now, here's the best part. And there's also some presets and sounds that are only found on the Lowry Prestige. In fact, occasionally I'm going to be using a songbook to play some of my songs. And the book I'm using is the Patriot songbook. Um, so it kind of makes this really easy for me. Now, I'm keeping things moving along, and I'll talk about some of the cosmetics in just a moment. But, you know, we've been through a lot in the last year. Wouldn't you agree, all of us? And some worse than others, what have you. But I think it's pretty consistent. We could just say, you know, we've been through a lot. And every time I play this song, it, I, I, you know, it's... It's kind of a hard one because you can say, what a wonderful world. Well, <laughs> I think it's a wonderful world because here we are with some fabulous students spending time together, and we are creating our own wonderful world. And there was a style that was introduced on the, the Lowry, uh, the Patriot had it, and it's called Wonderful World. And I thought it was only fitting that I play What a Wonderful World because we are creating our wonderful world right here on Zoom with each other. And I'm going to go to my songbook here and play it for you. And when you hear this, this is absolutely phenomenal because you're going to see my hands coming up from time to time. And what I'm doing is I want you to hear the orchestration that was designed and built all of the fill-ins all of the just like the the original recording all of the fill-ins are done automatically okay so listen as we play what a wonderful world Armstrong, folks.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hold the applause. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh. oh, I get goosebumps playing that. There's just something about that song, the melody. It just never gets old. It just never gets old. Well, that is such a gorgeous style. What I love about a lot of these styles today, the first one I played was called, by the way, I didn't, I didn't tell you, I played, told you the song. The, the name of the style is You're the One. Um, I really love that style because you can play You're the One that I want, but you could do a lot of 50s rock and roll, rock around the clock songs like that. You can, they're so diverse. Uh, that one there lends itself to, obviously, what a wonderful world, but you could play songs like Can't Help Falling in Love and just some of those great classics, those great 50 ballad type classics. But a lot of these styles you're going to hear, <clears throat> they can be used multiple ways. Okay, now here's an example. I'm going to play a song that when I tell you the style, you think, oh, that's the song he's going to play. Well, that's not exactly what I'm going to do. Um, the style, again, this is on one of our flagship models uh, called, it was, it's called Mr. Lucky, or the song is called Mr. Lucky. The style is called, let's take a look here. Let's see what it says. M Lucky. So most people would think, oh, he must be he he must want to play the song Mr. Lucky. Well, it's a great song. I love it. Uh, anybody know what artist orchestra is associated with Mr. Lucky? I got a couple heads shaking. Go ahead and answer. Go ahead, Sean. You were shaking your head like I know the answer. Ooh, ooh, pick me. Henry Mancini. Henry Mancini, thank you, Sean Jean McDonald. <laughs> yes, and Henry Mancini, by the way, his orchestra in this, if you'll go back and listen to the recording of uh, Mr. Lucky, there's an organ player playing in the background. That's actually a Lowry organ they use as part of that. Um, and it is a great style. When you hear the introduction of this, you're going to think, boy, that's perfect for Mr. Lucky. But I did something one day on a whim way back when this happened. I had trouble learning Mr. Lucky, so I thought, well, I wonder if I could play another song with it. The fills, the background fills, everything is perfect for it because it's, it's great for a lot of standards. So here is um, the introduction of Mr. Lucky. Listen closely. There's that classic organ sound. Now listen to the fills. Now that's the other part of it. Listen closely. So yeah, the organ sound. So you're going to hear these beautiful fills with the bells and the organs. But instead of playing Mr. Lucky, I'm going to play this. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's such a gorgeous style. You could play all sorts of great classics with it. Now, before I get off on a tangent playing all this music, you could see that view there. This is, to me, up there with all of the top of the line models. As you can see, this instrument lends itself to some really gorgeous cabinetry work. <clears throat> this particular instrument comes in uh, what we call like a, a, a beautiful, uh, rich uh, cherry finish with the mahogany woods. And then they also come in a heartland oak in some of the models. Um, and of course, like all of our top of the line models, we have an actual roll top here. 
Now, if you notice, this instrument is also in a similar size as a lot of our top-of-the-line models. Keep in mind that the profile distance on this model, profile distance meaning the distance between when you're sitting at the bench, this here is actually about the same height as most models, okay? All with the exception of maybe the smaller model. And, and in fact, it might even be the same. This keyboard here lines up, all right? The profile distance we've referred to is the distance between here and here or here and here. Some models have two music racks, some have one. As you can see, on the top of the instrument here, we have, and I'll just turn off the lights here so you can see this. Okay, so what we have here is when the instrument is off um, or on, with the lights all turned off, you have a couple things that can help for the eyesight. You can adjust it. First of all, we have, besides the display here, we have the panel lights here that actually you can dim if, if you're sensitive to light, or you can brighten it up as light as you want. Um, we also have lighting on the top keyboard here. Okay, your ABC lights you have, you see there, you have two or three different modes here. I kind of like it right in between. And those who want just a little extra lighting, whether they play the pedals or not, on the bottom here, they actually light up across the pedal. So it really illuminates very nicely. Now the beauty is this has, because this is a little high for some, in most cases, this is actually lower than even some of our mid-size instruments, mid-size instruments being holiday classics, journeys, fanfares, because what happens is this rack extender and the design of this, they designed it to reduce it at least two inches lower than uh, most of the flagship models that were out before this. And then this rack, what we call the rack extender pulls out. And if you notice, the transfer of electricity and light brings the lighting here. And now we can have our music here so if I were to play a song, I have it here, and it brings it close enough so it's literally right here in front of me, just inches away, low enough so I can see it without hurting my neck, and close enough without covering up the dashboard. Now, if they make it any closer, it would be a chin rest, and that wouldn't be good. That's not what we want. So as you could see, there was a lot of clever design. In fact, when the legend... Uh, and the Legend Supreme was designed, it was designed with top-of-the-line features and sounds, cosmetic, all of the great features and f that the top-of-the-line models have uh, without the expense. Now, i got to play some more music. <clears throat> and one of the things that you're going to see me doing a lot is I like using presets. We encourage our students to use presets because the more presets you have, they're like more recipes at your fingertips that all you have to do is push it and you get a great sound. So let's talk about presets because this is fun. This instrument has, any good math people out there, has eight variations times 20, or I'm sorry, nine variations times 24 styles. So how many is that? 216. Did I do that right? I use my invisible um, dry erase board here. Is that correct? Yes. Some of you are going, it's like think 216. Now there are 216 styles. There's a rhythm preset times 11. So there's 11 rhythm presets for 216 styles. Well, my very quick math says that's over 2,200 presets. That's great. However, there's more. So on the dash here, we have some presets called A, B, C, and D, bank presets that are, that are programmed with some of the best um, uh, factory settings you can have on a Lowry instrument, and then category setups. Now here's what's cool. These category setups, there's country, big band, shows, Latins, like some of the models have, and there's a more. When I press more, another page of presets come up. I have sacred, bells, jazz, nostalgic, lush, brass, holidays, modern, 
whew, catch my breath here. And then if I go to the next page, there's a whole nother page of presets that were also designed on our top of the line models and some new ones. <clears throat> so let's talk about these and let's play some music. Ooh, there they are. That's Sean. He's such a good Sean. He is a great Sean. All right. So if you look at the screen there, that is the additional setups. Now, if you look at A, B, C, D, you'd say, well, wait a second. A, B, C, and D is on the screen. It's also on the dashboard. Well, there's a reason for this. In a moment, you're going to see that A, B, C, and D is great because they're great settings in there. But we also encourage programming presets. We'll get into that in a second. So what happens is as you program the presets or have presets programmed for you, the ones that are there go away, but you still have them in the screen. So they're in two places. Then there's another group of settings that you saw on the screen. They all start with the word Supreme, Supreme Island, Supreme Mellow, Supreme Modern, Supreme, et cetera, et cetera, because this is the Lowry Legend Supreme. And the question that I get a lot I mentioned there was over 2,200 presets plus all of these extras. There's got to be, give or take, somewhere around 2,500 presets just in that, that little equation. I will never be able to use in all of them, and I don't know what all they'll do. However, there is a button here that you're going to see me frequently pushing, and I'm going to let you in on my secret. So as I'm playing, if you see me reaching over and pressing a button over here, there is a feature here that all of the flagship models have. It's called Preset Info, and the screen shows up, and it tells me every single sound that's on the top and the bottom keyboard. Now, Mr. Maloney is screen sharing an example of that, but his screen share froze, so he'll screen share that again in a moment. <laughs> and what, what he's going to uh, put up, when you get it up there, I'll, I'll start with the first one, Supreme Island. And so the Supreme Island... Uh, the screen has, and I'm looking in the screen here, so as I'm playing, if you see me kind of looking in, or like this, I have some glare, it's because I'm looking at the screen and I'm seeing the sounds in advance. So right now I have Category Supreme Island. It says steel drum and guitar. So that means steel, guitar, uh, steel drums and guitar. Pan flute and guitar. Hawaiian guitar and block. Keys, uh, organ, and a tr trumpet, et cetera, et cetera. So I never guess. Oh, there they are. So you'll see that I'm going to play some of these without a rhythm first, and then I'm going to do it with a rhythm style. So you have steel drums, guitar. Leave that there. I'm just going to play a few of these, and then as I play it, I'll tell the number that I'm doing, and you'll see the sound that I'm getting. So I'll just leave it on the very first one, steel drum zero, and we get... Number one. Number five. Which is the vibes. You heard the pan flute, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I was doing, folks, is playing this manually. Now, most students, when they play, they don't play chords, pedals, and what have you. They like to use these phenomenal setups and presets with a rhythm style. So I'm going to play a new rhythm style here, uh, inspired by the, the music and styling of Glory Estevan and the uh, Miami Sound Machine. <clears throat> and this is just really cool because if anybody likes Latin music, old, new, in between, this style works great for everything. And I'll prove it to you. I'm going to play, I'll play two or three Latin songs. First, I'll play the, the song that it's, uh, it, it's designed for. Um, there was a song called Conga, and the style is called Miami Conga. So I'll start off by playing uh, Conga, and then I'll turn on my Supreme Latin presets, look on my screen as I'm playing, and then I'll just use some of those settings. So here we go. And this is a great style to use if you want to burn off a few calories here and there. So here we go. All right. Oh, yeah, there she is. You got to dance like her, too, when you're doing this. 
And I'll start off with a little bit of conga. Supreme Island Sounds. Here we go. Let's switch it up. Let's do another number. Here we go. Wow, they're a beat. <laughs> Preset number one, Poot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That, that's a lot of fun. Well, I hope you're having a good time. I am. I know I am. <laughs> oh, yes. Big round of applause. <laughs> and and, and <clears throat> I have something really cool about presets that, uh, that I'm going to talk about here in just a little bit. So if, if I get carried away, remind me about the additional 400 presets designed by a child prodigy to work for a one and two finger player so don't oh, my goodness. oh yes it is truly it, and it's it's kind of it's one of those it's who you know because usually this person sells this thing for a lot of money and i said come on buddy how long have we known each other and he gave it to me free to use for today so i'll i'll get back to that now <clears throat> let's get to some other music i like to show if you notice, I try to show a variety of styles, sounds, because everybody has different tastes. Some people love big band music. Some people love rock and roll. Some people love Latin. Some people love country, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to do a, a, a couple country numbers now. And they're going to be really two diverse styles. And again, these styles were introduced on the flagship models and is now on the legend supreme uh in fact i remember we had a phrase when that 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 uh, name came out legend has it the legend has it well now legend has it the legend supreme has it oh it just sounds so prestigious too doesn't it and i'm going to do a couple country numbers <clears throat> first i'm going to do a little uh a three-quarter kind of a country southern three-quarter should i say and this is a little bit more on the slow kind of tears of my back line of my back kind of country <laughs> you know like when you're really sad it, you're picturing it like if you're really sad laying on your back and you're crying it, dear, the tears are going down into your ears that's are you get it some of you are shaking your head like this okay well anyway uh and then and then and it's a really sad song if you ever see the words but it's a great melody people love the song and then I'm going to show another, another style of country music inspired by the, the styling and music of uh, Johnny Cash. In fact, the style's called Ring of Cash. So um, uh, we'll start off with Southern Three Quarter, play a little bit of that, and then I'll do a little Johnny Cash for you. So here we go. Whew. I'm excited about it, just thinking about it. Here we go. Southern Three Quarter, just a simple rhythm preset. Preset info to see what I'm doing. Let's start off with the piano here. Thank you. 
just rare enough joined in, folks. Southern three quarter folks. Now a little bit of Johnny Cash. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeehaw. Yeehaw is right. applause for our Lowry Legend Supreme and Ring of Cash and Southern Three Quarter. Oh, I'm just having so much fun with that. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I really love playing this instrument. I got two cameras. I got to keep my, where are you? Okay. Now, I told you that um, there were a lot of presets on this instrument, some that are built in, but uh, some people in the industry are familiar with a uh, person by the name of Marco Mendez. And Marco Mendez, um, I think he started playing at the age of three or something like that. And uh, I think by the age of 11, he was, he was basically had a scholarship to, what is it, the Curtis Institute. I mean, he's well accomplished. He knows his music. And, but the unique thing about Marco was, is over the years working with Fletcher Music Centers, he understood our students and that our students love to play for the fun of it, not to be a professional. So he designed <coughs> some presets that he currently sells, and I might say that they're not cheap. <laughs> um, however, I got a hold of them. I gave him the puppy dog eyes over the phone. Come on, bro we're like brothers, I say. We're like friends and brothers. I've known them for close to 30 years and he gave it to me now Sean do you have that copy of the list okay so this is really neat because there are so many great styles already in here that even if I didn't have this it would be magical to play and the sounds are perfect and everything's perfectly set up for you but sometimes we want more and every one of these presets You'll see the first one just says bossa nova, slow swing, are additional stylings of music that work with any type of song in that genre. So if I wanted to play a song called Spanish Eyes, I would pick one of the Latin categories, load this USB in, and then and magically I would have 10 beautiful arrangements for bossa nova and any type of Latin sound that I want to do. I'm going to go to number six there. Big band. I love my big band music. And I loaded in uh, the big band category, and there are 10 great big band sounds on top of the ones that are already there that are great. So it's like great and greater. And all I do is push A1. And to load this in, by the way, the power of the USB, if you ever see me teaching classes, I've had a lot of people say, what's that thing around your neck? <clears throat> It's in case I really make my girlfriend mad. She tightens it up. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, it's a USB stick, okay? Because what happens is a lot of times when we're playing, we find a sound that, you know, I know it happens. We find a sound we don't like. Does that happen to some of you? It's normal. But surprisingly, not or not surprisingly, there are a lot of times when we're experimenting and we find a sound that, we, whoa, that's great. You either write it down or try to save it on the instrument. But the organs that have the USB drive, you can now save that information and then never lose it. 
In some cases, our students go with, get with our personal assistants and they have them fill it up with goodies so that they can take it home with them and sound just like in the store. In this case, I've got some wonderful settings from Marco. And I'm just going to play some big band music and I'm going to look at my screen and hit the presets that come to mind. And here we go. And I just realized at the last minute, I want, I like so many of those settings on there. Instead of loading <laughs> Big Band, that wasn't Big Band, was it? <laughs> we don't make mistakes here at Fletcher Music Centers. That's actually Charleston. What number was Charleston? Number 10? So I have Charleston loaded in. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Larry, legend, supreme, everybody. Uh, so those are just 10 of the, of the 400 uh, presets that we have on that USB. And I'll tell you about how you can get that USB, that same information, <clears throat> a little later on. Now, I love big band music, as I said. I love Charleston, I love rock and roll, I love, actually I love all of the styles, they're all my favorites on here. I was going to say the first one I played was my favorite, but then the Wonderful World's my favorite, then the M, M. Lucky style is my favorite, and they're all really my favorite. But this next one is another one of my favorites. Trisha, I love the little catty, kitty there. <laughs> I, I, I put it on a spotlight for a second yeah. while we weren't looking. <laughs> that's, that's a classic zone, Zoom moment, it's perfect. Um, I lost my train of thought of having fun. Okay, so, Sean, this is where we're going to spotlight you for a moment because he, oh. he, tells, he tells the story a little better than I do. But this style, when it was introduced, I have to tell you, again, it was, was introduced on the top-of-the-line model. It was loved by so many for a couple reasons. One, because for many years, the traditional Foxtrot style that we had on some of the models were kind of... It just got, I, I hate to say tiresome, we just, you know, because it's been around a long time. And when Larry introduced this new style, it was perfect because you could play all sorts of great songs with it, plus the ones we used to play. But it, it says Smooth Foxtrot, but it almost has a big band flavor to it as well. And it's called Smooth Foxtrot, and it's inspired by the styling and orchestration of which artist, Sean? Well, originally, okay, it's it's made for the song uh, "Begin the Beguine by Artie Shaw. Uh, but what's really cool is um, Bill Curry, who designed the rhythm style, actually based it on Benny Goodman's specific arrangement of it, uh, because he had this really really cool clarinet intro, and uh, Bill Curry liked it a lot, so he stuck it uh, pretty much exactly uh, in the style. So it's pretty neat. So we have. Um, Artie Shaw or Betty Goodman? So the style's based on Benny Goodman, this this feller. 
Oh, so that well, see, they may not know who that is because that's he's a little bit before their time, but he was great at playing the clarinet, and you're going to hear him in the introduction. And <clears throat> folks, I, you know, I get carried away, and sometimes I I keep secrets to myself. But I saw one of the chat, one of the staff members says, "You better explain what you're doing up there with your finger because that's not fair if you don't tell them." So I better tell you. If you notice, occasionally I run my finger across this. You know what this is called? I call it a doodad, but Lowry didn't want to call it that. They made it something fancier. It's called virtuoso. Now, when you say that, you have to actually, your body language has to actually be like that. So um, someday, if you ever have this feature, you can tell your friends and family, I have a virtuoso. And you, say, and you do it just like that. Now, this is cool. <clears throat> Because the way the virtuoso, were, and I, the reason I'm bringing it up now is I'm going to do it with the style. The virtuoso is a great way to get these beautiful arpeggios, okay, at any time, and they never plays a wrong note. Because what it does is it takes the sound that you're playing on your left hand, for example. Say, I've, say I'm doing something as simple as this, okay? C chord. Actually, I'll do it with one finger. Here we go. And I run my finger. You notice as I play the chords, it magically plays all of the correct notes for me. So you can use it like that. But another way it can be used is the, this is actually how we believe the fake it feature originated. But you have control over it, so you can use it as an arpeggio of fake it, and then you can still play your melody on the top and the bottom keyboard. So I'll do that partway through this, this number here. And here we go, begin to begin, and then I'll switch it up a little bit, use my virtuoso, and do a few other things. Here we go. folks here we go so this is what it normally sounds like you're just running or crying you got some beautiful arpeggios but I don't want to use it that way I want to use it as a fake it I'll just hit a few chords here and there and watch The Lowry Legend Supreme, everybody. Ah. Oh. I hope you're having a go. You having an okay time, folks? Thumbs yeah. up? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hope you did great. Hope it sounded great. Well, I've got a few more songs to play for you. So now I've got to really up my game here because I'm showing all these wonderful, cool things on this instrument. Um, so. I, I'm going to come back to some presets here because these new presets are just phenomenal. I'm going to play a couple others for you. Um, 
uh, on that page. You have that page there, Sean. You can pull that up. The page. The uh -huh. the the supreme the category presets rather. Let me oh, be, that page. Let Ooh, me be sure. a little more specific. <laughs> <laughs> Read my mind, Sean. All you right. know, I kind of can probably at this point. Let's see. <laughs> I've got it coming up here. It's just taking a second. All right. So earlier, as that's pulling up, there were four, there were eight category presets that were added to this instrument. Four are exclusive to this model called Supreme. And you heard earlier the Supreme Islands, not all of them, but some of them. I'm going to play, I'm not going to be able to play them all, but I'm going to touch on a few on the Supreme Mellow right now. And then what I'm going to do is, is show off some of the Supreme Modern, okay? And then tie that in with some, one of the new styles. So we're going to have some fun here with that. So you can see he's drawn a little fancy rectangle. He loves his rectangles. And um, so Supreme Mellow, I wasn't going to do this the other day, and I started to do it for the group. And I was falling in love with these sounds so much, I just thought I better play some of these today. So here's Supreme Mellow. And um, the very first one starts off with this real pretty, what we call electric, mellow electric piano. Now what I'm going to do is show off a few of these sounds without, a, without an orchestra, just by itself, so you can just hear how gorgeous these are as they are by themselves. Here we go. that beautiful <clears throat> some gorgeous I didn't get to play them all those are supreme mellow now supreme modern is pretty cool now this what I'll do for fun is I'll play some of these settings these presets rather with a style that um, I actually got this idea some of you may know him his name is Joe Fontesha you've seen him um, <clears throat> online uh, teaching classes and oh there he is in his fancy Let's see, add spotlight. There he is. Wave, Joe. So many of you know, this. he is a, an extremely gifted performer, artist, piano player, you name it. Um, and I got this clever idea from him. When, when I first heard about this idea, I thought he was really kind of crazy. Well, actually, he is crazy, but even crazier, because I thought, why? what are you thinking? <clears throat> and there's a style that was introduced on the flagship models, and it's called Slum Doggy, and it was inspired by the, the arrangement and music. Uh, it was for the arranging and music uh, from the movie Slum Dog Millionaire, which takes um, place in another uh, country. And so when you hear this, I'll play the introduction so you hear it. And he showed me that if you use this style, you could actually use this style um, for the song Phantom of the Opera. And I thought, that just doesn't make any sense. And then I tried it, <clears throat> and boy, I've this is the style that I use every time ever since. And what I'm going to do for today, which is a little uh, even more fun, is I'm going to use some of these new Supreme um, 
category presets with it. So here is the style slum doggy as it is with no changes or anything. And it's actually a great style. If in fact, if you play if you play the song Temptation, I've heard a lot of artists use it works perfectly with that. But if you could hear that, it's perfect for that. And then of course the ending All right, so now what I'm going to do is use that same style and play a minor chord and just use my new Supreme presets. I'll start off with Rhythm Preset 0 and then go to my uh, Supreme presets, and here we go. Legend Supreme, everyone. Oh, now, just in case you're wondering how I'm getting that applause, very quickly, <clears throat> there's a keypad on here. Uh, it says keypad. There's a button. When I press it, these numbers show up. And then if I just press 501 and then hit sound effect, I instantly get it. So the, this touch screen here, for those who have it, they understand the, the power of this touch screen. The touch screen on the Legend Supreme and all the flagship models is, um, is there's, there's a lot of benefit and advantage to it because first of all, it tells me every sound that I have on the screen that I was telling you in the presets, but the screen is also designed to do other things. They have a keypad that I can actually search for song setups alphabetically. I can find sound effects very easily at my fingertips. I can do light shows and all sorts of fun things. And it's also, it's, you know, there's a thick manual that, that's about this big, um, like all owner's manuals. But to me, this is an owner's manual built right into, uh, and that's why a lot of students have an easy time uh, learning this instrument. You just touch this little button right here and it opens up every feature and option and they're kind of self-explanatory. So it's really makes it a lot easier for, um, for our students. Now, I have to have some fun with this next style because um, uh, first of all, I'll use music from my Patriot songbook. And um, many of you might have had an opportunity to watch this um, movie maybe back in, gosh, I want to say the 80s. There was actually a, a Broadway show of this that I got to see it on Broadway in New York. <clears throat> absolutely phenomenal the music's wonderful and then they um had a new version of the the original movie done what the original version was animated and the rev revised one was not um and the movie is called the lion king and many people um love a lot of the music from that uh, uh from that movie and the broadway show 
and the, the, the theme song is called Circle of Life. And uh, many of you might know the name Elton John. He actually wrote uh, the song, the music, along with Tim Rice. And by the way, I have to tell you, I cheated a little bit with my music because the music I'm using from this songbook, I don't know if you could see it in the screen there, but right up close, it says Rhythm Preset Zero. Anytime I use a song out of this book, it tells me that if I just simply use the style that it tells me to do, okay, so in this case, there's a style called Circle of Lions. That's what I'm going to do. Rhythm Preset Zero, and that's all I'm going to do. If I just press the button, there's only one or two buttons that I have to press. So I, I play along, and it says play on the lower right. So that's what I'll do when I get to that part of the song. Then I continue playing. It's all an easy play, and this is in the key of C, too, so that makes it easy. And then it says press alter style. That's it. Then when I get here, turn off alter style. So they make it very easy for me to utilize this style. And as it's playing, if you, if you think about the original song, um, listen to the background, the, the little singers in there, um, uh, that just like in the recording of the song, the arrangement is all built right in. So now to make this a little bit, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go to the jungle. Go to the jungle at Ooh. night. We are in the jungle, folks, at night. Yes. They have Lowry organs wild in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no comment. <laughs> that was funny. But it's kind of cool because we create, we've got the, the bright lighting. But when you hear the introduction of this, it just listen closely to the introduction in the background. You're going to feel like you're out in the jungle.
Oh, yes. Big round of applause for our Lowry. Legend, supreme, everyone. Very good. Very good. And I need you to applause on that one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, Clement, Clement raised his hand. I think he has a comment. Go ahead, Clement. I want to say the young lady who played Nyla is a former student of Menti in Miami. Her stage wow. name is Cindy Winters. She is now in Vegas. Oh, is that right? Yep. There you go, folks. You now have your pop quiz answer for later. <laughs> if you get the answer right when we ask you, see if you've been paying attention, you're going to win 100,000 virtual dollars online Ooh. by Sean. No, it's really cool stuff. So the Lowry Legend Supreme. Oh, you know, I have to tell you, I got a, another one. You know, as I'm playing the show here, and using all these setups, and I look at all these wonderful styles that we have on here. There's so much more to this instrument that I have enough time to even show off. But, you know, one of the styles that I really love to play is uh, um, a style that was actually, again, introduced on the Lowry Patriot. <clears throat> and let's see here. It happens to be, uh, I think it's in this songbook. And the style is called Your Way. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do is um, play this style here. And let's see here. Switch the camera. And I want you to listen closely because as when I reach up and hit alter style, um, the, the part of the song that just really kind of gradually builds and escalates is all done by just me simply hitting the alter style on here. All I'm going to do is use rhythm preset zero, the intro, the ending, the style your way, so I can do this my way and play the song my way. And here we go. Lowry, legend, supreme, everyone. Big round of applause. Oh, so much fun. Oh, standing ovation. Thank you so much. Standing ovation. Oh, you're so kind. You're so kind. You're so kind. Well, folks, a couple of things. Let me switch. I got to get a little remote to change the camera here. Oops, wrong one. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank you for participating today. Did you all have a good time today? Sure. Very nice. Thank you, Robert. Thank you very much. Well, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't go anywhere yet. Okay. <laughs> I want to share some more information for you. And then in about, uh, uh, in a little while, I have to think about it, how long it'll take. I'm going to do a couple finale numbers for you. Uh, first thing is, you know, earlier I told you 
how the legend Supreme came to be. What I didn't tell you is how many they made um, of the legend Supremes. Not many people know this. Not many people are familiar with this model because they only made six. <clears throat> there were six legend Supremes huh. made uh, in history. Now, the, the answer is why is that? Well, because they didn't actually build us an organ. What they did is they took the the the, the the Lowry legends that we had in stock and through hardware, software, and a lot of work, uh, Lowry provided us with the Lowry legend Supreme. And there were only six of those maids in existence. So they're very, they're not even, I don't even call it a limited edition. I call it an extremely limited, extremely, extremely, extremely limited, limited, lim limited phenomenal instrument. Uh, in fact, I think there's one or two in Florida, maybe, and one in Arizona. Um, however, I have to tell you, a lot of people by this time, they're curious to know uh, what type of opportunities they have on those. I ask for one favor. If I did a really good show, yes? Okay. I ask for one favor, that you take a few minutes and uh, talk to your personal assistants and to get some information, because down the road, this may be something you might be interested in. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lowry, legend supreme, everybody. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for attending today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Be safe. Keep playing music. And mwah, we love you all. Talk to you real soon.